Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants. This is Rudy Rodriguez Show, my from Come On Now, the podcast. Here to bring you another great rant. Some new stuff to talk about. Because there's always new news on the day that makes me want to say something. But before we jump in, thank you for your support. Please be sure to subscribe and like and, and ring that bell. We are hovering about 2,150 subscribers right now. I want to get up to 2,200 before the day, but that's probably not going to happen because it's almost midnight when I am recording this. So tomorrow, get us to 2,200, man. We really appreciate it. Be sure to follow us and like, like follow us on our different social media ch channels at uh, Come On Now Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Come On Now Pod on X. Let's jump right in. Jalen Brown was recently spotted at a <laughs> summer league game with his new main squeeze, Kaisri, I don't even know how to pronounce her name, Kaisri Gondesik, whatever her name is, the girl that played for the Chicago Sky, real, really attractive basketball player. She happened to be sitting next to Angel Reese, I guess they're friends um, still, which is normal, naturally. But um, yeah, because the Aces are playing Chicago Sky right now as I'm doing this podcast, and I'm watching it on my screen to the right. So yeah, I am looking in that direction as well, watching this game, because I am watching all these games. All that said, He's watching Bronny James in the summer league and he is caught on camera. And I think it's becoming really sad. Like they're people are just watching these dudes talk on the side. Like you can't even have a conversation with the girl you're dating <laughs> and, and have a private conversation without the, the, the lip readers of the world trying to figure out what you said. But what he said was very, very clear. So, yeah, I'm talking about what he said because it's being talked about. So why the hell not? What happened on the, in this occasion is Jalen Brown said that I don't think Bronny is an NBA player. And Kaisri says, I think he'll be in the G League. Jalen Brown says, no, he'll be on the roster. I think he'll be on the LA Lakers roster. And I think he's correct in both of what he said. Ronnie James has been, but here's the problem. He came back today with a tweet about trying to, I guess, not make him sound negative about Ronnie James, but it's like people are not permitted to have an opinion about this kid who is now an adult getting paid $2 million to play basketball. Once you remove yourself from the amateur level for which you are not being paid to play ball, which realistically now is high school, you are subject to criticism, and you can be criticized. Heck, you can be criticized in high school because if you're choosing to go that direction, you can be criticized in high school. There's nothing wrong with being criticized. No one's sitting here saying blast off on somebody or anything like that, but you can be criticized because guess what? No one's perfect. The same way a teacher can grade your paper and not mark everything right, you learn from what you don't know. You learn from your mistakes. Ronnie James was drafted because of his father. He did not deserve to be drafted. We have now seen four or five summer league games where he looks completely outclassed. Outclassed, outmatched, too slow, just not good enough. Can't shoot. Mistakes on defense taking chances, positioning is poor, angles are poor. I've watched various breakdowns of his game on different podcasts, and I have massive respect for these people because they're really looking at this at a much, much closer level than I am. I'm not even basing it on stats. I'm basing it on I watched two of his games, and I watched that he's just not involved. That's really what it comes down to. He is, an, he is a... He is a piece on the side, hoping to get the ball. But yet he has basically not, he has not made a three yet. Yet he's supposed to be a good shooter. He's not. We, we knew that though. But we wanted to tell ourselves that he was a good shooter because he has a nice looking form. Yet he shot 27% in college last year from three. He's not a good shooter. He's not a good player. Not right now. So what Jalen Brown said is absolutely correct. He is not an NBA player. Will he be on the Lakers front, on the Lakers roster to start the season? Absolutely. I think he'll be on the roster all year. I don't think he'll ever see a second of G League action. 
unless it's between games where the Lakers aren't playing and it's just going to give them a chance to play some ball. But I don't think that's going to happen really much either. He was drafted to play with his dad, to be in L.A. with his dad. That's the reason he was drafted. That's why he's there. That's why the Lakers sacrificed the draft pick to go pick an unqualified player at number 55. I'm seeing all kinds of gibberish and garbage about how, well, we would never be talking about, you know, why are we holding him to some standard and some level when no one would ever be held to that at 55? You're right. And we also wouldn't be talking about it if he wasn't LeBron James's son because he wouldn't even be drafted. He'd gone back, he would have gone back to school like any other player of his ability. But he chose the route to go to to go play in the NBA. He chose the route to take advantage of the of the connection to get him drafted so that there is that possibility that he can actually play a game with his dad, and for which he will, they'll play him. Hell, he might start. <laughs> it wouldn't shock me. The Lakers have already compromised their entire franchise for this nonsense, so it would not shock me in the least bit if he started. But Jalen Brown's right, and he shouldn't have to apologize for his opinion. He shouldn't have to apologize for speaking a clear fact. The breakdowns that I am watching where he goes and there's a guy at the top of the key and a defender who's not even looking at him, draws a defender, and Bronny never cuts cuts behind to the basket to set up a layup. That happens over and over and over and over again on these clips. He is supposed to be a great basketball mind. He's not showing it right now. He's not showing a great basketball mind at this moment. He's showing someone who's scared, apprehensive, has no confidence, and doesn't know what to do. I read some from someone I know who posted on Facebook, oh, the problem is depth perception for his shot. No, it's not. No, it's not. Ronnie has been playing in NBA arenas since he was in high school. Played in them when he was at, in high school. He's played in 15,000-seat arenas with massive with depth perception. Yeah, this is not like playing in, you know, your state championship after you've played nothing but a high school gym. He plays in big buildings. He's played in big buildings his entire life. And he played in a, in a college arena last year and played in multiple college arenas last year. He does not have an issue with depth, depth perception. What he has an issue with is skill. He's just not good enough. At this moment, he's just not good enough. He got drafted. And, every, and you know what? I blame national media for this because national media is who's making this a story. National media is the one that's posting him on, his, on a layup on the front page of ESPN.com. National media has created this. More than even LeBron himself. If the national media wouldn't cover this, because national media never covers summer league like this. Covered a little bit, but not like what you're seeing right now. Not like this. But quite frankly, he's been absolutely terrible. I don't want to hear someone say, oh, you're not why No, he's been absolutely terrible. He's been terrible with everything. He takes too many chances. He's playing terrible angles defensively. He cannot shoot. He cannot dribble. He doesn't create for his teammates. They show a play where he makes a block of an alley-oop pass as if that's something special. I don't want to hear. He makes a steal because he took a chance and he got lucky that time. But they don't show the three other times where he takes a chance. And because he took that chance, the players to the rim. Help side defense. Look, granted, this is summer league. Guys are looking for a job. But one of the things that you see amongst players in summer league is can they do the little things to make you want them on your roster? Help side defense. Understanding when to cut to the rim and not stand in the corner and wait for a job. First of all, you're not making shots, so why the hell would you stand in the corner? You should be automatically cutting to the rim. It's wide open. They're not looking at you. But Jalen Brown getting criticized or called out for what he said in a private conversation, Jalen Brown has that right. Jalen Brown is a finals MVP. He's an NBA champion. 
He can say whatever the hell he pleases and should not be receiving backlash from the imbeciles in the media or the imbeciles in the, in the peanut gallery because these clowns have been listening to bullshit for months and trying to pump up and prop up a player who's just not good enough. Not right now he isn't. Everyone is seeing right now why he should have gone back to school. Everyone is seeing that right now why his best opportunity, his only opportunity truly should be the G League. But because they give him a four-year guaranteed deal, he's never going to see the G League. Or if he does, it won't be anything for any, any, any lengthy period of time. He should have been on a two-way contract like every other pick at that level. But he's not because he's LeBron James' son. So... I would like to see Jalen Brown not freaking kowtow and, and bend over when people have something to say. Bro, you are a finals MVP. You think what you think. We know it's true. We know what it is. But if you've been watching, really watching, like some of these podcasts that I've watched where they've broken this crap down really, really well. And I'm going to link a couple of them in here. I think one of them is um, Awful Coaching. I think that's one of them. Um I'm going to link them down here. I could be wrong, but um, I will link them in there and uh, you can take a look for yourself because it's pretty freaking obvious that he is failing miserably and he's, he's absolutely terrible right now. And anyone who says differently just doesn't just, just is just a LeBron lover and doesn't want to be objective about this. But let me know your thoughts. Have you been checking it out? What do you think of what Jalen Brown said? You know, leave your comments, in, you know, leave your, leave your comments and please be sure to like subscribe and follow us. Come on now.